The gospel is the greatest story ever told. It is the story of what God did in the past. It is the story of what God is doing presently. It is the story of what God will do in the future. So the gospel is a meta-narrative. It is a dominant story that has power to transform power to transform you and me, power to transform the entire mankind. When you believe the gospel, then it becomes your story. That is why we sing, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all that day long. So when you believe it in your heart and confess it with your mouth, it becomes your story. It transforms you. It is the story of hope, the story of forgiveness, the story of the past, the present, and the future. And it has four parts. The first part is... It is the story of the death of Jesus the Christ, the only begotten Son of God, that translates to our self-denial, making us to die to the world. So when we believe the story, we become partakers of his death. (laughs) Colossians chapter 3, verse 3. It is the story, number two, of the resurrection of Christ, that on the third day, Christ resurrected by power and we are partakers of his resurrection. We are buried with him in baptism. So we are risen also with him through faith. Colossians 2.12 It is the story of his ascension that Jesus Christ ascended no longer heart bound. Yes, he took his glory. And it also means that we also have ascended. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 1, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits on the right hand of God. So we also can rise. We also have risen with Christ. And part 4 of the story is that he shall return which is the final part of the story yet to occur. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, verse 4 and 5, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then we also shall appear with him in glory. So the return of Christ is the promise of ultimate healing and justice. Yes, that is the story of the gospel. The death of Christ, the resurrection of Christ, the ascension of Christ, and the return of Christ, and that we are partakers of that story. So, I decree and declare today, your case shall attract God's attention. Your dreams will come through. Your past disappointments are reversed. Something good will happen to you today. Every age-long shame and frustration shall turn to reasons of jubilation and rejoicing today. The Lord will remember you for good. The Lord will fulfill his word in your life. Whatever gave Jesus victory, that power will also give you victory. The power of his resurrection shall walk in you, walk for you, and walk through you. In God's light, you will see light today. Darkness is dispelled in your life. Frustration is turned around. You will not die untimely. You will fulfill your days. You will not be a victim of accident. You will not be a victim of evil. God will grant you a new beginning and a fresh start today. And he will do a new thing for you. So shall it be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.